If you're an engineer or other technical professional, training new people is something that you're gonna have to do in your career. I'm here to tell you today that you should not shy away from that opportunity, and you should also not gatekeep your work. I find this as a very old school mindset. I definitely have interacted with people in my career who gatekeep certain parts of their job like that will give them job security. Maybe it's my millennial showing, but that literally makes absolutely no sense to me. If you are leaning forward and trying to grow in your career, you could see this as succession planning, which is a healthy thing for the business to do so that you are not the hero and when you leave, everything falls apart. Succession planning is a great reason why training new people is super important and why you shouldn't shy away from it. If you're feeling threatened that the person that you're training is going to replace you, why is that? I would think a little bit deeper. Let's dive into that a little bit because if you are feeling that you're threatened, is it because you're coasting in your job? I really wish my role was more performance-based compensation, but the nature of it doesn't really work like that. I think people that are afraid of performance-based compensation don't actually want to work. What do you think? So performance-based compensation really roots out a lot of the people that don't actually wanna work. So if you're a person who's afraid or you're threatened because you're training someone in your exact role, is this because you don't want to work? And why don't you want to work? Are you just coasting before retirement? Is that really good for your organization? Or should you move to some other part of the group or are they forcing you to move by training this person? Well, maybe some introspection there can help you figure out exactly what's going on. If you're afraid of performance-based compensation, I would say this channel is not for you because I want you to be more productive and to get more done in less time in the office. And you're gonna do this by growing your skills, growing your professional network, and not just resting on your laurels all the time. If someone is going to come and take some of my workload, I am all for it, and I think you should be too. This almost gets down to succession planning and career growth as well. So if I were you, I wouldn't be shying away from training that new person, and I would change your mindset to actually see it as opening up bandwidth for you to go learn new skills and perhaps grow and be in another position here in the short term. There's your quick social intelligence tip for today. You should keep going with social intelligence at this playlist up here. Or if you're ready to get back to technical skills, you can get going with the IQ playlist down here. Or you can keep doing exactly what you're doing and getting the same results that you've been getting.